Well, other stories come before you go. Some community members are calling for City Council Member Sean Lalowey to resign. Last week, investigators raided the businesses owned by the local politician. He is accused of failing to pay his workers and hiring children to work in dangerous conditions, as well as retaliating against those who cooperated in the investigation. Lalowey has not been arrested and no charges have been filed, but the next City Council meeting will be today at noon. Lalowey tells CBS 13 he will be there. Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies have arrested two people accused of attacking business owners. This happened at the Dollar Thrift Store on Auburn Boulevard. The owners say they asked a homeless man and a woman to move when it was time to open. Suddenly, they said that homeless couple lashed out with a flashlight tied, tied to a lanyard. Both suspects are now facing assault charges. And I'm Rachel Wolf with what you need to know before you go in Ione, where the police department here will hold a press conference at noon after a stabbing spree that left one person dead and two injured, including a PG&E worker. This happened yesterday. In the morning, it started on Violet Lane. Police say the suspect, Joseph Jenkins, ran stabbing two more people on Shakely Lane, where he was then arrested. I am police calling this a random act of violence, not confirming Monday if these were attempted robberies. That one of the victims, a neighbor, died Monday morning. Uh, the others stabbed, like I said, one a PG&E worker. Now he was out on parole for murder and just released from prison. And there's some questions about a similar type incident in the past. We're going to look more into that coming up at the top of the hour on Good Day. Some Stockton business owners can worry less about the cost of getting their windows repaired. The city has actually launched a grant that will reimburse all damaged windows. It comes at a time when many small businesses have been dealing with smash and grabs, leaving the owners with a hefty bill. The broken window grant program will cover up to $800 per window. That grant program will only cover windows that were damaged on or after May 2nd of this year. And the official Christmas tree for the state of California is being brought to the state capitol in Sacramento today. Cal Fire donating the tree. A crew from the California Department of General Services will adorn the tree with nearly 200 handcrafted ornaments made by individuals with developmental disabilities. It will be lit up with 10,000 LED lights once installed at the capitol.